Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be on one of the new Elite Heroes that they released uh, not too long ago. And that is Chestbean, so he's one of the light Elite Heroes. I already did a video on Radiant Pixie, who I think is really good in dungeons. Uh, very good in uh, Rift of Chaos in some aspects, like pretty good in Earth Titan. Chestbean is more of a specialist. The reason I'm making this video is I actually used him to beat uh, the Chris's Faction Challenge on 20 to 3 star this. Uh, you know, <laughs> don't get your hopes up because I used uh, like full booked heroes. But this is, you know, one of the harder contents in the game, like right behind Rift of Chaos. And you really need to invest to do this, which, you know, it is what it is. But Chess Fiend got me there. So let's just talk about him a little bit. He has this Manic trait, which grants himself a joint attack, which is kind of cool. Uh, not a lot of characters have this in the game. You know, you got Opal, Fahim, uh, Morgan, who is another new dark epic, which I'll make a video on, you know, in the way future, just because uh, I don't like to showcase people unless they're fully booked. And he is on the list, but it's a long ways down the road. Uh, but if he's ascended, he actually grants himself damage up. He can be a pretty decent damage dealer, uh, you know, for faction challenges where you can build him uh, slow speed. I got two different builds to show you here. Uh, so his, his trait is really good to be a supplemental damage dealer, or his kit actually allows for him to be a pretty good support as well. So his basic ability, which is what he's going to be doing the joint attack with, deals 130% damage if it's booked uh, to one enemy and applies a stack of random stats down to them for two turns. This is pretty strong. Uh, it's a nice multiplier for a basic. And then the random stats down <laughs> are actually good in uh, you know some lower stages of Earth Titan for Rift of Chaos. I don't think he's going to have enough sustain or add enough to your team to really be used on the higher stages. But if you're struggling, you know, from stages one through four on any of the wrist Rift of Chaos stuff, I think Chess Fiend can actually be pretty viable in Earth and Fire. So that's his basic. His special ability just does damage, uh, but it scales based on the enemy's lost health. This is a decent uh, damage dealing skill, but he's mainly used for his joint attack and then his ultimate ability which deals 260 percent damage and applies increased damage taken for two turns this is actually a pretty viable uh, debuff not a lot of people have it in the game so it's it really increases your damage output um, this is really good against the earth titan you know as well as uh as well as like Batwolf, it's pretty good in faction challenges. Uh, it's very good against the Fire Rift of Chaos boss as well. So really nice ultimate. And then again, his damage scales with enemies lost health. <laughs> I will say he is a little tricky to use because his uh, his trait is on a two round cooldown. And the other thing is, is he has to take a turn for these buffs to apply. So. Uh, not amazing, but he does have some utility, like I said, as a specialist. It does go, uh, uh, it should be noted that this joint attack buff can actually be removed. Um, so he's a little tricky to use in Bad Wolf as well. But the stats I have on him right now on this first build, he has 180 speed. This is to deal with the threshold for Rift of Chaos, um, you know, for stage three. You need 176 speed at least so that's why i have the speed in there because i'm going to show you like a uh, <laughs> a earth titan team he's got 4500 attack and then 329 crit damage and he does have 52 percent focus um i think you do need the 50 percent in order to land his debuffs at least for stage three and you definitely want that because the earth titan deals less damage with the more debuffs he has on him so I have him in Assassin and Warrior set, uh, and then I also have a crit damage uh, relic on him. So I've got some pretty good substats on here. Decent boots, pretty solid uh, ring, and then an okay necklace. So that's the first build with the speed. If you wanted to use him in faction challenges, uh, you're going to switch out the speed boots for attack boots just so he can do a lot more damage um 
but yeah, those are the two belts. So let's just talk about him and his utility, you know, in a place like uh, the Earth Titan. So again, on these lower stages, uh, if you're just trying to get some relics to help, you know, slowly progress through these stages before you have better heroes to book and things like that, <laughs> Chess Fiend is pretty viable in those lower stages, four and under. Um, the thing that this Earth Titan boss is affected by is uh, he does this really big AoE ability and it can deal a lot of damage, but um, he deals less damage per one negative effect on him. So uh, each negative effect actually reduces the damage uh, by 5%. So Chess Fiend actually has you know negative effects on his basic ability. So every time he joint attacks, he can be putting up that negative effect, which in turn decreases the damage of the boss. So a team like this, you know, Brand is your main tank here. Um, he's allowing you to eat up those big max health hits from the boss. Zitlin is to help you kill the boss earlier, uh, quicker, but you don't need Zitlin. You can bring in a healer. Um, so if you have a healer like Jocasta, if you have a healer, you know, like Florence or someone like that, or Matson, uh, this will really help as well instead of Zitlin. And then you have Aramo in here to do the counterattacks. That's where you're going to get most of your damage on the boss. And then uh, we have Bachelor in here as well to deal uh, those additional damage over time effects like Ignite to decrease the boss's damage. Now, I'm not going to finish this run because I don't want to waste the energy on such a low stage because the Relic will be useless to me. But I just want to show you uh, Chest Fiend in action here. So here, you know, you can use the curse on Zidlin, but again, I don't want to kill the boss, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, and the boss will end up using his ultimate ability on the first turn. So we want to try and put up uh, as many debuffs as possible just so we can uh, reduce the damage taken. Here, Chest Fiend, as you see, hasn't gotten his joint attack yet. But uh, this is a great opportunity for, put, for us to put up the increased damage taken because Aramo is going to be able to counterattack on the boss. And if we have increased damage taken, his counterattack is going to do a lot more damage. So here, the AoE uh, hit a lot less. And as you saw there, Oramo hit for 100,000 damage. Uh, he's in okay gear, and he is partially booked. Um, you're going to have to book out heroes for, for this content. So just keep that in mind. But I think he's a really good option as a damage dealer that can scale pretty high up in Rift of Chaos. So here, you know, the Chess Fiend does have the joint attack. So you'll see uh, we've got five debuffs right now. There is a possibility that he puts up the attack down or the defense down uh, whenever he attacks. But if not, we should have a six debuff on here. So here's the joint attack. And he did. He put up crit rate down, which is pretty cool. So he's going to go in and do this every time. Uh, so he put attack down up again. But now it's for two turns. Uh, and here, you know, he'll join attack again with uh, the Bachelard. Crit rate down again. But we have a bunch of debuffs on uh, this boss, so he shouldn't be dealing a whole lot of damage on his AoE. And you see here, you know, he's doing some pretty decent chip damage each attack. Now, this special ability actually does some pretty decent damage. 26,000, you know, for stage three, it's not bad. But this is, this is going to be the turn where the boss uh, does some really big damage uh, on his AoE. And this is nice where you have all of these debuffs up, you know, either from... Uh, oh no, it's the next round. But you get the point. As, as many negative effects as you can get is where Chest Fiend actually is going to help you uh, survive in this, in this boss. So... That's the first team. You know, the second team is in Rift of Chaos Fire. And I keep mentioning lower stages of Rift of Chaos because, you know, especially the Fire Boss, <laughs> he has this uh, he has this mechanic called, uh, where is it? Primal, no, Scorching Combo. 
So he gains one rage for each attack received, and then he gets a bonus turn upon reaching max rage, which I think is somewhere around seven, seven attacks, five attacks. I don't know. I forget. Uh, but he doesn't have that on stage four and below. So the joint attacks from uh, Chest Fiend actually aren't going to be uh, an issue for you. So this team, again, I'm using some like really easy mode characters for this boss. Like uh, Badmar heals your team completely. Atara gives you a bunch of health. I mean, not health, uh, sustain with defense. She puts up good uh, debuffs like attack down and things like that. But it's just to get across the point that Chess Fiend here, he plays into what you're trying to do with this boss, which is kill him quick, right? He has low health. He starts at 50% because he gives himself this big attack boost. So you just want to try and kill him as fast as he can because he continues to scale. So with Chess Fiend, uh, you do bring that chip damage with his joint attacks like we've seen in his abilities, but also uh, he does put up that really valuable debuff and in increased damage taken, which again is kind of hard to find. So here we'll put that up and now he's going to have the damage up and joint attack. So whenever he comes in, he's, he's going to allow people like Rosalind to do more damage whenever she's trying to get her job done, which is the main damage dealer here. And then uh, just doing some chip damage here and there. So 12,000 damage, that's fine. That's all we need from him. We need him to be a supplement sup supplemental character uh, to our main focus. So increased damage taken, and then he's going to be doing those just joint attacks, and then doing some decent damage, again, with his special ability. So 2% of the boss's health off the special ability, not too bad. So, yep, that's how he's utilized in Rift of Chaos. Again, just on the lower stages. Uh, I really don't think he's viable on the higher stages like Radiant Pixie is or anything like that. So now I'm going to switch over his gear uh, into the Faction Challenge gear, and I will show you the Faction Challenge 20 clear. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is our team. Uh, I, I will say it's not 100%. You do have to get a little bit lucky with some things, but you only need that one time clear, right, to get the three stars. And uh, as I said at the beginning, this is not free to play. <laughs> this crazy Zerzag is fully booked. Goobag, fully booked. Ascended 6. <laughs> Jocasta, fully booked. And then uh, Chess Fiend, fully booked. But uh, the luckiness part is... Urzag in the stun set because you have to stun, you know, some of these supporting characters. This Darcy can actually kill the Goobag, and you need two rounds of Goobag. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try a couple runs here uh, once I find one that works. You know, right now, I think it's been about 50%. But uh, yeah, I'll find one, we'll fast forward, and then we'll get to the boss. Okay, so we're at the boss here. So we are just going to focus your Ryan. You know, on these boss stages, you only need to kill the boss. And you don't have to worry about these supplemental characters. We're going to hope for a stun on Darcy or any of these characters from the Crazed Urzag. This is why it's kind of RNG. Uh, because you need the Goobag to survive 
uh, into the next round. So we're going to hope to get lucky here with a stun on one or two people. No stuns. So this probably a fail. Uh, you know, it's not completely over yet. But we will see. Okay, so we got a stun on Lydia. If they don't focus Gubeg, we might be all right. We got one more shot here. Okay. Nice. All right. So, might be doable. We're going to put up the defense down on the Orion, and we're going to do increased damage taken. All right. Now we're going in. We're going to try and <laughs> try and kill him. With the Chest Fiend here, we're looking good so far. The Deflect from the Goo Bag stinks, but as you see here, 56%. It's going to be close. We're getting a little unlucky with Goo Bag's stuff. Uh, okay, some decent damage. I think this is going to do it. So some nice damage out of... Yep. This should just be enough. So there you go. That's kind of how I did it uh, the first time. But yeah, that's kind of Chess Fiend's utility, right? <laughs> Being able to clear this. Uh, you know, he's usable, like I said, in the Rift of Chaos stuff and even on maybe Batwolf. Uh, but you'd have to play around with the speeds and builds and stuff like that. But yeah, just a you know short little video about chess fiend and you know i think he's he's pretty neat so that's all i got guys uh hope you have a good day and i'll catch you on the next one see ya